A timeline of the coronavirus The outbreak of the virus, which began in Wuhan, China, has left tens of thousands sickened and more than 7,800 people dead. Officials have declared it a pandemic. The coronavirus, which surfaced in a Chinese seafood and poultry market late last year, has spread to at least 147 countries, killing more than 7,800 and sickening tens of thousands of people in a matter of weeks. The World Health Organization has declared the situation a pandemic. Here's a timeline of the outbreak so far. Deck. 31 Chinese authorities treated dozens of cases of pneumonia of unknown cause. On December 31, the government in Wuhan, China, confirmed that health authorities were treating dozens of cases. Days later, researchers in China identified a new virus that had infected dozens of people in Asia. At the time, there was no evidence that the virus was readily spread by humans. Health officials in China said they were monitoring it to prevent the outbreak from developing into something more severe. Jan. 11 China reported its first death. On January 11, Chinese state media reported the first known death from an illness caused by the virus, which had infected dozens of people. The 61-year-old man who died was a regular customer at the market in Wuhan, where the illness is believed to have originated, and he had previously been found to have abdominal tumors and chronic liver disease. The report of his death came just before one of China's biggest holidays, when hundreds of millions of people travel across the country. Jan. 20 other countries, including the United States, confirmed cases. Jan. 23 Wuhan, a city of more than 11 million, was cut off by the Chinese authorities. Jan. 30 The WHO declared a global health emergency. Jan. 31 The Trump administration restricted travel from China. Feb. 2 The first coronavirus death was reported outside China. A 44-year-old man in the Philippines died after being infected, officials said, the first death reported outside China. By this point, more than 360 people had died. Feb. 5 A cruise ship in Japan quarantined thousands. Feb. 7 A Chinese doctor who tried to raise the alarm died. Feb. 7 The disease the virus causes got a new name. The World Health Organization on February 11 proposed an official name for the disease the virus coronavirus causes, COVID-19, an acronym that stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. The name makes no reference to any of the people, places, or animals associated with the coronavirus, given the goal to avoid stigma. By the next day, the death toll in China had reached 1,113 and the total number of confirmed cases rose to 44,653. There were 393 cases outside of China, in 24 countries. Feb. 13 There were more than 14,000 new cases in Hubei province. Feb. 14 France announces the first coronavirus death in Europe. Feb. 17 Chinese officials draft legislation to curb the practice of eating wildlife. Feb. 1900s leave the quarantined cruise ship. Feb. 21 A secretive church is linked to outbreak in South Korea. Feb. 21 The virus appears in Iran from an unknown source. Feb. 23 Italy sees major surge in coronavirus cases and officials lock down towns. Feb. 24 The Trump administration asks Congress for $1.25 billion for coronavirus response. Feb. 24 Iran emerges as a second focus point of the virus. Feb. 26 Latin America reports its first coronavirus case. Feb. 28 The number of infections in Europe spikes. Feb. 28 Sub-Saharan Africa records its first infection. Feb. 29 The United States records its first coronavirus death and announces travel restrictions. March 3 U.S. officials approve widespread coronavirus testing. March 11 President Trump blocks most visitors from continental Europe. March 15 The CDC recommends no gatherings of 50 or more people in the U.S. March 16 – Latin America begins to feel the effects of the virus. March 17 – France imposes a nationwide lockdown. March 17 – The EU bars most travelers from outside the bloc for 30 days. March 19 – For the first time, China reports zero local infections. 
China on March 19 reported no new local infections for the previous day, a milestone in the ongoing fight against the pandemic. The news signaled that an end to China's epidemic could be in sight. However, experts said the country would need to see at least 14 consecutive days without new infections for the outbreak to be considered over. And the announcement did not mean that China recorded no new coronavirus cases. Officials said that 34 new cases had been confirmed among people who had arrived in China from elsewhere.